Hi, everybody. My name is Francis Fry. It is January 30th, 2022. I'm in Cambridge, Mass. We just had a blizzard. All, we're all uh, safe here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the audiovisual stuff I use when I'm teaching. I've been tweaking this for like two years. Uh, I love talking about it, and so I'm going to put out there what I do in case it's helpful to others um, and if it can be a, a place where we can talk about it. So the first thing I want to do is that I use multiple inputs when I'm teaching. So this is the camera from the front. This is where I take notes. It's on an iPad. Here is a separate laptop where I'm going to show a video so I don't have to do share video screen because that is really hard for me. Um, and then this is the background view and the background view it will be helpful for me in explaining what's going on. So I use over here the video and this is like this is command central. Over here is audio. I don't really touch it at all during the whole thing, but it's a it, it's nice to have this level of control. I use a short SM7B mic, but if I didn't, if you're like, oh my gosh, how can I remember that? I'll put all of the things and that was using, I can turn that on or off using this ATEM Mini that I have, which is, again is the anchor. So I'll explain what I'm using. Elgato key lights. I have an iMac, you could have any computer in the front. I have a Sony ZV-E10. I like it a lot. It's the base um, Sony camera that has an interchangeable lens. Um, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro for audio. I have a laptop here, it doesn't matter which one. I have an A10 Mini here, a monitor, which is optional, and then the iPad for taking uh, for taking notes. What I'm using here is called a, I'm using a downstream key where I can move these back and forth. So this is one reason to use an A10 is that you can do this very easily. Another reason to use an A10 is that you can cycle through, oh, <laughs> let me take that off. You can cycle through very quickly four different inputs. And so that's why you, one would use um, an ATEM and uh, it just makes that super easy. You might end up using an ATEM Mini, I mean an ATEM Mini, all of them are ATEM Minis. You might use an ATEM Mini Pro if you wanna show all four of your angles at once. And so sometimes for instructional reasons, I like to do this. If you like to do it, you can't do it with the ATEM Mini, you can do it with the ATEM Mini Pro. So if I was taking notes over here, I would say, oh, why use an ATEM? Because there's four inputs, that's really cool. Why use an ATEM Mini Pro? So that I can um, have a multi-view and see all inputs at once. And then what I have here is actually the ATEM Mini Extreme. And that does, uh, it, it allows us to use the multi-view, but it also has something that's called Super Source. And this super source allows you to take any four of your inputs, um, organize them however you like on this screen. You can put art in the background and do a whole bunch of nice things. So I find this, um, this is where I mostly teach from. Uh, and then if I was just gonna show you a clip of how I don't have to share video in Zoom, which is really, really nice for me. Instead, I just go to the uh, video that's on my laptop and this is a, a case on leading with authenticity and urgency. It's about Bozema St. John. She's the best person in the planet for leading with authenticity and urgency. But right about now, I'm like missing making eye contact with you. So you can see that, you can hear my voice. Here's another beautiful thing about an ATEM is that it'll allow you to show up and doing it. And you can go in any of the four quadrants. You can actually go anywhere you want and be any shape that you, uh, that you want. So I'm gonna just be over here so I can just see you as it's going on. So I'm about to um, hit play on my laptop. You'll hear the sound go through um, the roadcaster and onto the, onto the computer. So I'm gonna scroll down uh, this case, which is a multimedia case. So it's got descriptions. Um, and then here's the first of about a dozen video clips. And so I'm gonna click on this again. I'm in my laptop doing this. There were three moments in my career up until this point. <laughs> that I think were really pivotal and perhaps were inflection points for me. The first happened relatively early, which I'm so thankful for. I was, I think probably 23 years old. I was in New York City working for Spike Lee at his advertising agency, Spike DDB. I was the assistant account executive. Uh, I'd been promoted from assistant. And he was pitching Pepsi as the agency of record for their multicultural work. But the opportunity came that they were looking for their new spokesperson. And as I think we all know. Now I could go and, and continue to go on and on here and tell you about the, the case and they're doing, but I don't think that's the point here. So I'm just gonna 
um, go back up to the, I can go to the top, I can scroll down for more of the case. She talks about a relationship with Beyonce and things like that. So I'm gonna go back to the multi-view because again, I like how, how that looks. And I'll just make a couple of final comments and then um, please, if you have any questions, comments, build on it, let's have a thread here um, on LinkedIn. That might, be, uh, that might be kind of cool. So if you notice, I have no glare in my lights, in my, sorry, in my glasses, and that's because I have the lights uh, going against the wall. I have a little, I have an Elgato uh, light in the back that allows me to change colors back there. It's just a little bit of accent coloring because that gives me depth of field. And so if I wanted to change the color there, I could make it anything I want just by the touch of a button, um, which is nice. And it's the same lights as, uh, same company as, as these here. I have a camera in the back, which allows you to see this view. Oh, I have, there's, <laughs> there's my Elgato thing. Um, it allows me to see this view. I have the Sony ZV-1. So ZV-1, uh, Sony um, uh, EV-10. These are the two baseline Sony models. Um, this one has interchangeable lenses. The one in the back doesn't. I find them both to be, uh, both to be great. Um, and I think that's everything. I have a relatively neat background, which uh, helps. If you have a messy background, you'll want to increase the amount of blur you have in the background. And you need a camera to do that. And when you have a camera, it's best to go through an A10 Mini um, in doing it. So I hope this is useful to you. Um, chat away in the uh, in the comments, and um, and I look forward to uh, I look forward to connecting. Have a great day, everybody.